Greetings survivors and friends, Shadowfrags here with another Rust update which shouldn't take too long to get through but I will say that the focus this month seems to be mostly on quality of life and balance. There's also hack week going on, more of which in a mo. But first, I want to say I really appreciate all your support and sorry I've been a bit quiet lately. Have had a lot on my plate but I'm working on some new stuff and I should also have a new concept limo for you next week. So if you're not subbed, I'd recommend it so you don't miss out on the notification lottery. Anyway, to the news and the team at Face Punch have been doing a hack week where they down tools for a bit on the usual grind and spend a few days working on some passion projects things that they'd personally like to see in the game, or even a totally different game. So we've seen commits related to airships, a caldera terrain type, read volcanoes, weapon racks, emoji support for chat, and revamped weapon modules. The thing about hack weeks though is that not everything is guaranteed to be approved for inclusion in the game, and some of it might be stuck on the back burner for later. But although airships didn't make the cut, Boo. And lava is not yet, but we'll see. Maybe, perhaps, chuck it on the back back burner. Boo. It does seem that weapon racks, chat emojis, and revamped weapon modules, i.e. the safe, boring stuff, will be continued. So that's nice. Here's a pic of some of the new module models, with others to be added later. But unfortunately, I don't have anything else to show you yet. It seems there will be a static caboose, as not everyone wants to stand still by an open doorway in an unsafe zone, even if they are moving along a track in a predictable line. I believe there will be one at the outpost, and maybe the bandit camp. We'll confirm when I know. Changes to certain thrown objects and water are coming. Smoke grenades, bean cans and molotovs won't be throwable underwater, with bean cans turning into duds when they hit the drink, and molotovs just going out. You can just smell the realism, can't you? Talking of which, cake textures for something that's being worked on for next month. Also mention in the commits of chasing ginger bread men. In other works, there are a number of tweaks happening to musical instruments, with note ranges being extended on a few of them, and junk pile scientists seem to be getting some love. Well, I say love. The chance of them spawning's going down slightly, junk pile bushes will now block their line of sight, and they will be more defensive regarding players that are further away. There's lots of good stuff being worked on for the future, of course, including industrial crafting, which should appear, I hope, in the first quarter of next year, pets, server hopping via the Nexus system and ferry terminal, and probably a load of other things we don't know about yet and that are subject to change. As is pretty much everything. Oh, and it's Charitable Rust this weekend with some Twitch drops to go with that. So here's hoping all goes smashingly. You are now up to date in record time. Don't forget though, I am available to watch live on Twitch, link below. And I have a new concept limbo for you soon. You can also find me on Twitter, <laughs> hopefully, Facebook, Discord and my Steam group and support me if you dare on Patreon via YouTube memberships and on my merch store. And I shall catch you all very soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs available now at awdit.co.uk. You can just smell the realism, can't you?